Hello there and welcome to my Starship Emporium. Got a bit of a how-to for you today. I've been asked from a couple of people how to get things working on the Steam Deck. We know I've got one, so today I'm going to show you how to get Goat Fungus's Save Editor working on your lovely little Steam Deck. Without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the machine itself, beautiful thing. The first thing we need to do is get into desktop mode. So we need to press our Steam button and look for power. There it is. Tap on that and then we need to switch to desktop. Nice, simple, straightforward. The Steam Deck, oh there I am. The Steam Deck will do a little rebooty thing and will end up at a normal looking desktop. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. Here we are. The first thing we need to do is open our browser to get the files that we need. If you don't have a browser, Firefox is available in the App Store, if you will. The first thing we need to get is Java. From the Oracle website, there's the link on the screen, and it'll be down in the description as well. And it comes in a portable type version. So we're looking for Java 19. There we go. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we need to find the x64 compressed archive. We can download that from the link on the right, so we click on that, up pops the dialog and we pop it into our downloads folder. That's Java arriving. Next we need to go over to GitHub and look for Goat Fungus's save editor. Again there's the link on the screen, it'll take you straight to the .jar file that we need. This is the editor itself and we can get this by clicking on the little download button over on the right hand side. Again, we save that into downloads and wait for them all to finish. We can check at the top and yes, they've both arrived successfully. Lovely. Now we can close down the Firefox browser and go to our Dolphin file manager. Head into our downloads folder just to make sure that they are there. So there's the JDK and there we've got the save editor.jar file. Nice. Back to our home directory, we're going to need a folder called bin, bin for binary. You're going to have to right click and select new and then new folder. Call it bin and then we can go to our downloads, select both files, cut them out of there, go into the bin folder and right click and paste them in. Once they're there we need to find the JDK, right click on it and go to extract and then extract archive here, auto detect subfolder just to keep things nice, neat and tidy. And there it is beautifully arrived. If we go into there and then into the bin folder again, we can see the Java file. That's the thing that we're after. Now we're going to do some command line magic. It's the easiest and quickest way of doing it. So if you right click on the space between the icons and go to open terminal here, this will open the console terminal in the right location. And next we need to type in a bit of a command. So we need to type in dot slash java space minus sign jar space tilde slash bin slash nms save editor dot jar. And what this does, it uses the java file we've downloaded to execute the save editor jar file. Press enter and as if by magic, the save editor appears. Now we need to tell this thing where our save files live. And unfortunately, it's in a hidden directory that Java can't see. So going back to the file manager, we click the split button up on the top right hand side to give us two views. And the pane that's highlighted in blue is the one we're going to work in. Click home over on the left and then press Ctrl and H together to reveal the hidden files in our home directory. We're looking for the .steam folder, then steam again. Then we're looking down for steam apps. Then we're looking for Compact Data, 275850, that's No Man's Sky, into the PFX, into Drive C, into Users. Then we're looking for Steam User, App Data, Roaming, Hello Games, NMS, and the ST underscore long number. That's the file path we need. So up at the very top, you can see the text there. Just click to the right of that to highlight it all out. And then we need to right click and copy, go back to our save editor, click in the file name box and press Ctrl V to paste. Then we click on open, and then up at the top we can see that the save path has been filled in, hopefully with the right spot. 
and if we do the game slot drop down we can choose the file that we would like to edit and there it's loaded in and we can see my ship hunting save excellent to save any changes go back to the main tab and hit save changes jobs done there we have the no man's sky save editor running on the steam deck and to run the save editor a second time just open the console from the start menu and type in the command on the screen i hope you found this video useful if so, why not hit that like button and maybe leave a comment and let me know how you got on. If you'd like to join my fabulous subscribers, please feel free to click the button and hit the bell. If you'd like to buy me a brew, there's a link down below. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to my members whose generosity really helps to keep the Emporium going. So thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time.